It's finally time to relive my childhood in Pokemon Mystery Dungeon DX. Wait, how long ago did this game come out? Fifteen years ago. Oh my god, I'm old. Hey everyone, Alpha right here. Let me know how old you were when this game came out. And if it's negative numbers, YouTube will come after me. And now it's time for the infamous personality quiz everybody lies on to get the Pokemon that they truly want. But you know what? I'm giving it to you guys nice and raw. You want the real answers? I'll give them to you. Can you go into a haunted house? Preferably no, but love makes you do some crazy things. Do you like grown and do Absolutely not. I passionately dislike punts for they are truly Satan's humor. But when the going gets tough, do you get going? Yes, unless it's about tolerating puns. Do you feel lonesome when I'm alone? Dude, I feel lonesome when I'm with people. Yes. Do you think you're cool? Be honest. Well, I do play video games for a living. A foreign person has started up a conversation with you. To be honest, you don't have a clue. I just... Sometimes when people are even speaking my language, I just kind of nod my head and be like, <laughs> yeah, very funny. That was actually an answer. That was the answer I chose. Wow. Okay. You come across a treasure chest. How do you react? I just don't care. Is that an answer? Have you ever made a pitfall trap? <laughs> Have I ever been outside? Do you want to play as a boy or a girl? Um, I am a boy. You appear to be the sassy. Oh my God. And I'm somewhat cynical. They just called me a flamboyant millennial. But despite that, there is something appealing and lovable about you. But do you occasionally say something arrogant that angers others, like the comment section? Do you make that mistake sometimes? <clears throat> or have people called you conceited vain or so? Oh, I don't know. Do people talk bad about me? Anyway, your cool and aloof attitude is what defines you. I don't think people realize it's fake, but anyways, this is <laughs> it's exasperating. Oh my God, I'm about to go on another break. Uh, who am I? Let me know. That's upsetting. Well, if you've seen me play Pokemon Emerald, you know the Pokemon I'm choosing as my partner. Come home, Pikachu. No, I wasn't kidding. His name's Pikachu. Did you, did you even watch the video? I liked Sword and Shield, don't get me wrong, but this game is objectively better simply because it has Mudkip in it. You know, Pikachu, the Mudkip. If you don't know the plots of Mystery Dungeon, I went to sleep a human and woke up a Trico. Crazy how that works. Like, are we just gonna ignore the fact that like, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon is the first Isekai to ever exist? I'm not selfish game. I'm not arrogant. This game thinks it knows me. I mean, if they see my videos, they might think that, but isn't it crazy to believe that I might be shy and introverted in real? No, no, that can't be. Butterfree, what is it? Do we have to go into a cave and save your stupid baby because you're a bad parent? Oh my God, that's the reality. All right, Trico, we're back in the mine. What do we got? Iron Tail, Absorb, Quick Attack, Dr Dragon Breath? Level five, hello? Let it rip, sure. I'm s <laughs> That poor, probably level two Sunkern. Oh, uh... You're a little late on that one, game. Oh no, this poor Wurmple. We came to save Caterpie, but somehow we're gonna kill his friends too. <laughs> Look at him spin! <laughs> I just get so much joy out of watching this happen. Uh-oh. Um, I'm sorry, Wurmple. I'm about to commit a murder. I forget, there's an auto mode. Huh, good, I was getting tired of playing the video game. Thank God the game can play it for me. Uh-oh, I'm starting to sound like every mobile game sponsor on YouTube now. Wow. No matter what game I'm in, I always get lucky. <laughs> or that Pidgey got unlucky. I don't really know the difference. You know what? I think that's what it is about my luck. It's like if I go put $50 in a casino, I lose money. Like I'm not lucky if it's just me. My luck has to directly affect someone else for me to get lucky. <laughs> like Mario Party, for example. I, I don't know why I'm the way I am. It's just the planets are always aligned when I'm rolling the dice. But my baby's safe. I'm sorry. I don't know how good thank you. Why is she... Southern, I, I don't know. That's a really good screenshot. He he is Pikachu, isn't he? The buffest Mudkip you've ever seen because you know I'm not evolving him. Helping Pokemon in trouble might be a good experience. Huh, this would be a perfect transition into the plot of Rescue Team, wouldn't it? Oh, I got $500 for finding your kid? Damn, you do care about your kid, huh? It's like when I see Lost Dog poster for $20, I'm like, come on, come on. <laughs> no, that's so awful, I'm so sorry. Listen, Olive, if you don't have a place to stay, you should come with me, despite that horribly awful joke you just made. Oh, well, this is the place. Aw. I am sad that it doesn't have like a Mudkip head. That, I'm, I miss pixel art, man. I just, there are so many games out there that had killer pixel art and we're never gonna see that again and, 
That makes me sad. I want sprite-based Pokemon, please. Oh, Alpha, you're impressed, aren't you? Uh, I thought so. I thought this would make a good place for you to live. Oh, I'm living with him now. Okay, this isn't just like a temporary thing. He just got a roommate somehow. This is your mailbox, because you live here. Sucker, I tricked you into paying half my rent. <sighs> I misclicked. We're going to form a rescue team. All right, fine. I guess I'm going to commit to the rest of this game at this point. But the team name, what could it possibly be? We shall now and forever be known as the subscribes. Wait. I can do an exclamation mark, but not a question mark. What? All right, you know, when desperate times call for desperate measures, that's, I forgot to change the... Sure, why not? This little guy woke up this morning and said, yeah, I'm gonna make a friend. Yeah, I'm gonna make him pay half my rent. And yeah, I'm gonna give him a scarf. Don't you feel focused like we're on the same team? They're different colors. I mean, what? you could have same colors and it looked like we were the same team. And that is how Alpha and Pikachu began their careers together. Actually, no, it was torturing a Mudkip until he gave me 6 million views. And that's the demo. All right, pack it up. See you later, guys. I'm just kidding. We have a little bit of game remaining left in this demo. And luckily, we get to transfer all the save data when the game comes out. So this is just going to be one video. Then I'll make a series when it comes out. Don't don't worry. It's coming back. Oh, hi, Mudkip. You fell asleep outside, you stupid idiot. Today marks the start of a rescue team. Let's always do our best. I knew it'd be there. It's the rescue team starter set. They always give you one of these when you start a rescue. Wow, we already got the paperwork sign and everything. That is efficiency right there. Pikachu, check the mailbox again to see if there's any mail in it. Crazy. Okay, there isn't any mail for us after all. If only Pelipper comes through and gives us more mail, that'd be nice. Alpha read the letter. Well, now I know that personality quiz was fake, because I don't know how to read. <laughs> I realize that joke lost its merit because I just read the text that said out. God bless America. Anyways, we got a new mission. Let's just pretend I made a joke that didn't contradict itself and go save a Magnemite. Ooh, I miss Mystery Dungeon music. God, this slaps. This, I'm just happy that it's back. Thunder Wave Cave. All right, so are we trying to grind XP? Okay, well, I guess we're trying to dash. We're trying to leave. There is a sleepy Rattata right there, and we are just going to uh, let him sleep. Oh, my God. Nope, he has to die. Oh, well, bud, I'm sorry. Is this attack or is he just spinning? Wow, did Mudkip teach you a new trick? Because we all be spinning. Well... I wish I could go literally any other way. Like, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon is a good game for many reasons, but I think being able to have fast mode makes it a phenomenal game. It's not even the setup for a joke. I just think it's impressive that they added that because every other Pokemon game refuses to. We got rocks. This game has officially begun, everyone. You are about to see the sickest snipes in Pokemon Mystery Dungeon history. Okay, well, next dungeon. So if I were to elaborate on that $20 dog joke, I just saved their friends and they gave me an apple. This guy does not care for his friends. Never mind. He is a better friend than that Butterfree was a parent. I take it all back. Wait, he's going home. I thought he lived, we lived together. I, what? Is he a landlord? Did he just trick me into taking this home? Am I paying 100% of the rent now? Hmm. I'm really sad. Original Pokemon Mr. Dungeon sassed you if you open the mailbox from the wrong side. Like, am I really playing a video game for fun if it's not insulting my intelligence? Oh my god, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon is not complete without the Kecleons. But this is the Link Shop. Who owns this Link Shop? Let me know in the comments below. And then be sure to reply to those comments in the comment section below. All right, let's link some moves because this is about to get real stupid. Wait, Dragon Breath hits four tiles away? That is broken. I do not have any consideration for his belly. I am making this Trico stacked. And this building is the Pelipper Post Office. Huh, I never would have guessed. I'm always happy when games like this don't get leaked because this was a surprise to everyone. And I mean, sure, we played this game before, but there's something special about being surprised there's a demo. You know, I'm actually getting really concerned because my Pokemon are still level five. It's not like I had planned to evolve my Mudkip or anything, but I'd at least like to see some improvement from him. <gasps> Mudkip, you went for the snipe. Okay, okay, I gotta hold on to that. I'm not letting him steal the thunder. So this is the floor where I have to find a key and then find the stairs. Not a bad seed at all. You've arrived at the floor where Wurmple is. Well, shit, now I know where he is. 
Oh, well, there you go. And just like that, we found Wurmple because they literally gave us a map to where he's at. You've arrived at the floor where Plusel is. Well, it looks like they're in an abusive relationship because she's crying and Minin's right there. He's gonna beat us if we try and save her. Oh, we got the Chad Plusel and the Virgin Voltorb. You know what? We're just gonna sneak out of here. Everything's okay. Wait, where did she go? How does it feel to be free of the wrath of Minin? That was truly a heartfelt story. Voltorb got the happy ending he wanted. And I guess we're gonna follow them and beg them to give us money. Damn. Voltorb are really spending a hundred bucks on true love, huh? I, I guess you can put a price on those things. They're gonna go home and have a talk and be like, honey, do you really think I'm worth a hundred dollars? Well, now we got one more mission left to complete in the tiny woods. Pikachu! Oh my God, from downtown! Where is that sun curtain? Cause they got absolutely sniped by Pikachu. You found the Wurmple you were looking for. Next have Elekid move next to Wurmple. Okay, um, Elekid, help me out. Sit next to Wurmple. Wise guy, eh? God, this worthless son of a bitch. Um, that's cool and all that you can dig through floors, but I'm still pretty sure that this is breaking and entering. So long story short, the Diglett was abducted by Skarmory, and now that I'm actually thinking of the logistics of that, does that mean they pulled Diglett out of the ground? And if so, what does Skarmory know that I don't know? Okay, and if breaking and entering wasn't enough, now you gotta ruin my lawn, huh? All right, Mudkip, we gotta do what's right and save Diglett from the evil that is Skarm- Uh, uh, well, in two months we'll save him. I hope he lives. <laughs>